Some people are saying the new Ruby anime is great, while a lot of others are writing it off as a disappointment. From my point of view, we won't be able to say for sure until we get a very specific type of fight scene. What's my point of view? I may be a fight choreographer now, but back before programs like Poser and Maya existed, I was typing out 3D fight scenes in code. If I wanted to create this dodecahedron, I'd have to type this. If I wanted it to have a wooden texture, I'd have to type all this. No wireframe, just math and render times of up to 24 hours for a single frame of animation. I discovered what 3D fights are great at, and it's the very thing traditional animation is weak at. Traditional animation is great at taking single hits and making them look phenomenal, like the new anime did when it remade this Weiss fight scene. Everything in this finishing sequence involves anime's strong points. Fire, smoke, hair and fabric blowing in the wind, atmospheric special effects and focal blurs, all things that cause 3D render times to skyrocket. This took me 18 hours per frame because of the fire. I skipped the smoke because it tripled that number. To illustrate what traditional animation is weak at and what we haven't seen from Ruby Volume 9, give me 90 seconds to show you the fights from the top anime TV shows of 1998. Pokemon was in season two, so here's a fight from season two, episode one. To say that this scene is where they decided to save money is an understatement. Outlaw Star, season one, episode one, there's a move, fight's over. Here's a low quality close up with an inexpensive lighting effect. Cardcaptor Sakura? I know it's not the same kind of genre and there's varying styles on this list, but battling creatures is still a core component of Cardcaptor and Pokemon. Creature goes down from a single move and then we get stock footage that's higher quality because it's reused in nearly every episode. First episode of Silent Mobius? There's not even a move. Things change color, which is cheap, and the creature freezes, which means less animation. She points the dagger and the screen goes to white. More color change. Monster dead. Very inexpensive. The hilariously named Brain Powered? Here's a single move and that's it, fight scene over. Devil Lady, which was a cool, violent one. Stock anime footage background, one punch, fight scene done. And then there's this fight scene from Cowboy Bebop season one, episode one, standing head and shoulders above them all. Long takes without cutting, intricate choreography with a plethora of realistic feeling moves instead of one or two giant flashy ones. Sound familiar? No reliance on special lighting effects to cover up the lack of actual animation. Attention to details like footwork when the characters aren't even exchanging strikes. Close up shots in vivid detail, even though they clearly can never be recycled in future episodes. What set Cowboy Bebop's fights apart was this spared no expense approach. It dedicated a higher percentage of its budget to this fight scene than any other anime on TV that year in order to become the show with the best martial arts fights. Does that level of passion for fight scenes sound familiar? All of those things that are anime's weak points are what won the hearts of us fans when we saw the original Ruby series. What I discovered creating my own 3D fights was that those are the things that are 3D animation's strong points. You can focus on creating cool choreography and combos with almost a complete disregard for how you're going to show it because you can easily move the camera and lights to all these different angles to find the coolest spots to film it from. All of this experimentation would cost a fortune in traditional animation. Making Ruby Volume 9 an anime means cheap and easy for this kind of stuff, but time consuming and expensive for Yang's style of fighting. This close range intricate back and forth with long combos and a variety of moves. When will we know for sure if the Ruby anime will do justice to the level of passion and detail of the original series? We'll know for sure when we see Yang fight not a monster, but another person. That's when they won't be able to find a cheap way out or hide behind big flashy moves. Something like Yang versus the Malachite twins will be when the anime shows that it's either willing to pay the extra money to deliver Mani Um's style of intricate choreography, or it isn't. Yang is the character who will leave them with nowhere to hide. Are they going to use the anime to find a new audience that doesn't care about the original style of action as much as we do? Or are they using the anime to reinvigorate the series, to recapture the imaginations and hearts of us original fans. Some people have already written the show off, but the truth is that the answers to those questions are still locked away. And to get those answers, Yang's fight scenes are the key.